My name is Lavinia Williams, and on February 8th, 2021, I couldn't breathe because I have congestive heart failure, and I found out that when I got to the hospital, I only had 2% oxygen left. They didn't think I was going to make it. After I got sick and I had got out the hospital, I also was having panic attacks and anxiety. I was going to the hospital like, God, every other day almost. There were members that we felt like we needed to reach out to and do a little bit more for. Uh, these members were diagnosed with congestive heart failure, um, had uh, frequent hospitalizations, frequent ER visits, high costs. So um, we worked together with Mom's Meals to compile this congestive heart failure pilot program where they would be receiving, you know, six months of prepared meals, um, working with our multidisciplinary team, and they'll be getting some equipment as well. I said, let's give it a try. And so the nutritionist called me. They set it up, and it was everything from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And all you had to do was put it in the microwave, and the meals were fantastic. My great-granddaughter, she even ate a couple of them with me, and she was like, Granny, this is good. I said, yeah, but don't make it a habit because you ain't getting no more, okay? And then she started laughing, but it was good. We had our health navigator team uh, go out to her house and visit as well. They delivered a scale because, you know, with congestive heart failure, weighing yourself every day is really important to get to see any water retention or anything like that. And they showed them how to use, you know, their blood pressure cuffs. If they had issues using their glucometers as well, they would show them, um, explain to them what the numbers mean, where to write them down and things like that. So um, getting out into the community is huge. It's a, it's a, it makes a big change. Being able to be that person that they can socialize with, laugh with, even for just maybe 30 minutes that we were there, it made a whole difference in their life knowing that they had that support. IEHP was calling like, Lavinia, what can we do to help you? And so that's the way it was going. And that's what helped me. Cause I realized there was people that cared, you know. Throughout this process, I've felt that being present, you know, being present in what you're doing and not just doing it to complete tasks. Understanding that there is a, a person on the other side of the phone and the other side of this, the computer screen and be there for the member. There was a lot of times when Jonathan called and I was going through anxiety and everything and just from talking to him, it helped bring it down. It helped me be calm. And I would check in with her every week, and she would give me her rundown, all the, all the information from the previous week. And um, she started following her diet, no salt, no sodium, and she started working with her doctors more. They kind of eased up on those restrictions once they started seeing that she was progressing very, very positively quickly. And so I learned how to control my weight. And I went down from, I'll say, 280, down to where I am now and I weigh 236. Her symptoms were almost non-existent anytime I would talk to her. Vital signs stable, everything great. She was awesome. IEHP helped me be a better person because if it wasn't being part of that program, I don't think I would be here. They saved my life. Thank you. You guys did more than what you know. Thank you.